Hello and welcome to another CPD short from Complete Maths. And this time we're going to be taking a typical ratio sharing problem here that you can see on the on the screen. And we're going to be solving it using a bar model on the left and a ratio table on the right. And I'll often do this with pupils um, live in the class to draw out the similarities between the two models. So on the left we're going to set out the bar model. So we've got this ratio of 3 to 5. So Anika gets three parts and Roberta gets five parts. I'll just label that A and R. And now on the right, I'm going to set out the ratio table model. So when I'm doing this um, in the first, the first instance, I'll often go with four columns. Uh, the people in the question, so Anika and Roberto, um, a total column and also a difference column. Now you don't always need all four of these columns but um, in these early stages I'll, I'll put them all on. And we know that Anika and Roberto are sharing money in the ratio 3 to 5. So there's the basis of my two models. And I'll pause at this moment and make sure pupils are okay with these three parts being represented by this 3 here and these five equal parts being represented by this 5 here. It's drawing the links between the two models. Okay, let's read the next bit of information then. So Roberto receives £30 more than Anika. So on the bar model, we're looking at these two extra parts here being worth £30. Where does that sit in our ratio table? Well, that goes in our difference column. We know that Roberto gets two parts more than Anika, these two parts here, and those two parts are worth 30 and at this stage, um, the rest of the solution kind of falls out um, for both of the models. Here we've got these two parts being worth 30, so that's 15 each. Uh, with our ratio table, we're always looking for these multipliers. How do we get from here to here, or from left to right as well? So 2 times 15 is how we get up to this 30. So in the bar model, once we know each part is 15, we can fill the, the rest in with 15s if we want. Um, with the ratio table, each of these numbers need multiplying by 15. So 3 times 15 gives me 45 there. Where does that 45 sit in my bar model? Well, here we've done three lots of 15 to get the 45. Again, 5 times 15 would give me 75 here. Where does that sit in the bar model? Well, you can see I've got five 15s here. So I've got 5 times 15, which is 75 as well. Your total column, um, there's plenty of ways to get to this total now using the bar model. It's just a case of 45 plus 75 or using the ratio table, 45 plus 75 to give our total here, which would be 120. Um, another way of getting to the total, well, we know we've got these three parts for Anika and four and five for Roberto. So that would be eight parts. And again, eight times 15 gives you 120. So all of these things kind of fall to place as soon as you set the model up. So there's a nice little activity to try. It's linking bar models and ratio tables together.